push pause. A show that tells the story of your neighborhood. Meet the people. See the places. Hear the stories. Make up your community on Push Pause. Push Pause. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. On Push Pause. Ambition, confidence, and conviction. If you have those three things, you have what it takes to be successful, but you have to be emotionally prepared for how difficult the road is really going to be. Nobody would know what makes a successful entrepreneur better than author and business expert Rob Basso. As a successful entrepreneur, I've been involved with hundreds of businesses and learned from their owners what makes them tick. Long Island is a very wealthy area and it's a hotbed for new businesses opening up. There's 50,000 small businesses in the region. And because of our close proximity to Manhattan, it really makes that much more of a robust marketplace. I do like, I'm back to the original, but that's, we have, sometimes you have to see different ones to see that you like the original better. Basso is the owner of Advantage Payroll Services, the largest privately held payroll service in the tri-state area. We've been in business for about 17 years, and we own our building down in Freeport, New York. And we've been here uh, for about five years. We bought this building with the help of a New York State Empire Zone, which permitted a lot of tax credits to bring white-collar workers to uh, a distressed area. It's been fantastic for us, and we provide services to almost 3,000 small businesses in and around the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. So is this our final answer? I like that one I like better. that one better, too. Basso uses his experience and knowledge to help other entrepreneurs entrepreneurs who are starting out or trying to improve their business. Time management. The fact of the matter is, if you take the time and effort to set a plan for your day when you first walk in in the morning. Fortunately, I've been asked by lots of media sources and organizations to be a public speaker. My first book was released several years ago. It's called The Everyday Entrepreneur. That's really caused a, a lot of interest in me getting out there talking, not only in local areas, but all over the country. Uh, in fact, we were out in San Diego last year doing a talk, and we were on Good Morning San Diego. Uh, yes, that is the Ron Burgundy station from Anchorman. Uh, but uh, we, we've had a great run uh, at promoting the book, but more importantly, helping entrepreneurs and small business owners succeed. I might be in the payroll and human resources business, but m my interest is in helping other people succeed because I, I, you know, I, I, I feel an obligation to help give back to the community that's given so much to me, and I think it's an important thing that more business owners should try to do. The first room on our left is our gym room, um, which is very spacious, about 1,300 square feet. Now is the best time since 2008 to become an entrepreneur. And this room will be our studio. It'll be used for dance classes as well as art. There'll be a stage area, and this is where our best class is. It's our rock and railroad class. I think it's scary. <laughs> it's definitely scary going off on your own. It's challenging, of course, to open a new business. And in any environment, it's going to be challenging. Even in the best econ economical circumstances, it's going to be challenging. Um, but you have to be prepared for that and you have to reach out to the appropriate clientele and be in the right area and know who your clientele is. Push Pause returns with the opening of Kidville and Wanta and business expert Rob Basso. Too many people get into business and fly by the seat of their pants because it's their passion play. Uh, but sometimes your passion doesn't necessarily make a good business. The new Kidville franchise location in Wanta, under the ownership of Alexis Fritz, is one example of Long Island's thriving environment for entrepreneurship and new businesses. My name is Rob Basso, and as a successful entrepreneur, I've been involved with hundreds of businesses and learned from their owners what makes them tick. Today, I'm on a mission to help entrepreneurs examine the challenges they face and find solutions to make their businesses even stronger. Long Island is a great place for small businesses, and here, here's just a few examples. Steve Carl um, from Carlisle on the Green and Carlisle at the Palace is a successful entrepreneur and has been for probably two decades, is continuing to expand his portfolio of businesses. Um, you also have Indigo. Indigo is a boutique hotel in Riverhead. A gentleman named Rob Salvatico and his family run it. It is a fantastic property. They continue to hire and grow their hospitality business. Long Island's a great place to do business. 
So we made it. There were definitely trials and tribulations uh, with getting permits and building departments, but um, luckily we made it through. We worked day and night uh, endlessly, but I had great contractors, great professionals, and we made it happen in under six weeks. Long Island is a very relationship-based area, and you don't have to reach very far. I mean, if you've got contacts in the marketplace, if you know CPAs, if you know attorneys, these are great resources to go to just locally because they're all out there doing the same thing you're trying to do, grow your small or medium-sized business or entrepreneurial venture. All of our trial classes are booked, and our grand opening is actually sold out. Like, he's a rough and tumble boy, but he nice. loves stuff. He now. loves teddy bears. <laughs> Definitely people know about us. Um, we're really excited. The community is definitely excited about us. There aren't that many things around Long Island that have not just like an actual class, but that have open play. So that's one of, I think, the biggest draws for me, because especially in the winter when you have little kids and you can't go to a playground and you're stuck in the house, it's nice to have somewhere indoors to bring them to play. So I think that's one of the nice things about Kivel, is that it's not just the class, but you have the open play sessions as well. Mm. Long Island is terrific because some of the things that we look for in specific areas is to make sure that we've got a lot of kids. There are a lot of families that move from the city or from other parts out to Long Island to be able to have a little bit more space. And so where we started the business was on the Upper East Side of New York City, and now a lot of those families come out to Long Island, they already know the brand, and they have now more kids in the suburbs than they do in the city, and it's a big win for everybody. Alexis is a customer service fanatic, as in myself, and when I met that and I saw that about her, I knew that she would be a great partner with us and a franchisee. I, I cannot take my hat off enough for Alexis and her team, and I just met the general contractor and I gave him a big handshake, and I'm just very impressed with what they've been able to do in a very short amount of time to be able to hit the deadlines for the families of Wantop. People look at my business, and I've had this business for going on almost 18 years, and st still people think, oh my God, Basso, yeah, he's an overnight success. No, it took that long to be, to be considered what I considered fairly successful at what I do, and I don't even feel that I've gotten there yet. I keep getting up every morning trying to work hard, um, and I think the minute you lose the zest for wanting to get up and do good work uh, is the minute time to get out of the entrepreneurial game. For information on Rob Basso, go to robbasso.com or liadvantage.com. To learn more about Kidville, go to kidville.com slash wanta. Yeah! For Push Pause in Wanta, this is Greg Blank.